Now, I want you to be very clear on understanding what I'm saying when I tell you personal success is derived from privacy, silence. Now, I'm not saying that you should feel bad about sharing what you're doing with the people you love, with the people you care, your significant other, your husband, your children. I'm not saying that you should feel a kind of way about that. It's just that when you have a passion, you must understand that everybody's passion is not that passion. Even a child can become envious of your success because they want your attention as a parent. Even a significant other may feel you're outgrowing them, so it puts them at fear, and you will become competitive in relationships. So these are things that I want you to really consider and pay attention to when I talk about personal success. Yes, universalism teaches that wisdom will provide you with empowerment. That's why it's inside, empowerment, inside. You work on it, you meditate on your successes, and you push yourself to be silent in all happiness. And that internal silence is going to bring so much more reward to you than if you went out and you broadcasted it on national TV through an advertisement. In order for a manifestation to take place, you yourself as an entrepreneur must embrace the initial feeling first. Because if you do it outside of yourself, the entitlement of others, the competition, the jealousy, the envy, It's going to sabotage the seed before it has been planted in the ground. It's going to put poison in the soil so the seed cannot grow. Do you hear what I'm saying to you? Welcome to Chronicles of a Nonprofit, episode 74. This is October 29th, 2023. It's a great time for my shining entrepreneurs, those people holding on to the empowerment of your own internal leadership. We welcome you all. You are now listening to a pre-recorded podcast that took place, um, and I think this is very important to share some of the highs and lows in the business industry when it comes to dealing with personal success. Keep your success private. Keep it private. And for those coming, smiling, questioning, and all of that, those are the main daggers that are being shot at you. Why? Because they have no idea what's going on. And that's what I want to keep you empowered. So let's get back to the conversation. So yeah, when you realize that you're walking in the path of your success, how many people do you think are actually going to walk that journey with you? That's going to hold your hand, that's going to be there and say, I got you, I got your back. That is going to give you the advice necessary in order for you to grow and really and truly help you and assist you. Not too many people. You might have that one special one. You may have that one special one that will be there and empower you. But don't expect others to be there to do that. Promise me that's what you're going to do. And when you write in your journal, you're going to tell yourself you promise that you will not allow more than two people and your intimate circle of private success. Because see, you can't tell everyone everything because what will happen is they'll start to find the crack or the, the crack in the surface. 
oh, there's a there's a hairline fracture right in your area of communication. <clears throat> Excuse me. So if you have that hairline fracture in the foundation of communication, someone's going to tell you how you're not going to be able to succeed in communicative conversation. So then that means you're going to either have to hire someone else, you're going to have to, you know, shut that part of the business down. You're going to have to go out here and get communication classes and do all that other extra stuff, which prolongs your success. So yeah, don't forget every single step you take in the journey of your life is moving you towards the ultimate goal of your success. Now, you may take the scenic route, or you can take the highway, you can fly, you can go by train, you can go by automobile, with your GPS tracker to tell you, you know, when state patrol, highway patrol is out, you may be able to pump it up 10 more, you know, miles or Push it back 10 miles just so you could see the scenery. But however you get there, every single step is going to be successful in the journey. It may take you a little bit more time or it may take you less time, but you'll still get to that success. It's genuine. It's there. The passion is there. Silence is golden. And I've learned that silence is golden. And we are going to make our mistakes on how happy we are when we're empowered because things are going our way. The best times things have ever went my way as an entrepreneur in business leadership and empowerment coaching was when I didn't tell anyone what was going on until after it was over. And even after it was over, I saw the sabotagers coming to do what they should have thought they would have done but the time was over. They had no time to come in and reciprocate the, the negativity. They had no time because it was already done. And they're like, damn. So I want you to pay attention to that. Silence is like a golden egg. That is your ticket to success. Um, and yes, you want to be so excited to tell people you got that gold star. You got that... Uh, review on whatever, you know, podcast you're on. You can't even tell them where your actual podcast is because sabotagers will come in as ops. They'll come in to destroy. They'll come in. Listen, I went to promote a project that I was doing just recently. And I got, and it was so weird, but I knew it was you know, eclipse season. So things were going to be moving me to the next level because that's what happens. Every time that time occurs, there's something successful that I'm going to, epiphanies happen during that time. So as I'm putting together the project to promote, to advertise, I chose to go into a local advertising process just the name of a group, just to let people know, hey, this is available to you. Normally, I don't do that. Normally, I'm in different states. I'm all over the world, okay? But this time, I decided, well, let me try and see what happens here. Now, this is the first time in my, in my entire um, experience of working with this type of project that I received so much backlash and negativity, And I heard so many negative connotations to the things that I was projecting instead of the, wow, this is nice. Oh, I love this. You, you did great on the color when strangers come in and they have no agenda of knowing you, they have no competition to compete. They have no agenda. When I hit that local, when I hit that local group, I got all kind of hate. And I was wondering, I'm like, well, how is this happening? Well, of course, you have competitors. You have individuals who 
don't know what you're doing and they're a little pissed at that, you have opportunity that others don't have right in the midst, right in the circle of the camp. And they're like, how the hell are you doing that? So now I'm going to sabotage what you're doing because my dad is a construction worker. Um, he could have done that. And, or my dad is a painter or I'm a painter. I own a paint company. So we're right here. Who was that, that, that painted your property? Oh, they did a horrible job. You need to fire them only because one, they can't do it themselves Two, they're trying to sabotage to get people to not buy into your project. And three, just, you know, just, they will never understand what it, takes to help a community so you got to be very mindful of that and again all I'm doing is promoting so if that's all I'm doing I'm not putting out there a uh, propaganda a plan I'm not doing any of that and I get that type of backlash imagine a person coming in trying to start a small business in natural healing with cocoa butter shea butters and different things like that Who's going to give them a brick and mortar building when they may end up, you know, copying your craft? And these are the things we must be mindful of. Sometimes, listen, I have a beautiful traditional building that I can house over 15 to 20 different businesses, small businesses, and I've tried to empower others in that arena only to find out that even when I put individuals into the building, um, we are sabotaged in ways that our community itself will ignore just because they can. But here's the beautiful part about it, though. When you don't talk about the challenges, until once you've already, like when you, as you talk about the challenges, when you're going through it, people are going to see the hairline fractures in the foundation, okay? But when you talk about it looking back, hindsight, you see that you were a success. It was the people that refused to allow you to think you were a success that prevented anything from being successful pertaining to something that did not grow to its fruition. Again, be careful of the ground in which you are going to plant your seeds because if people know you're planting your seeds in this ground, they can easily sabotage it by poisoning the, the ground, the dirt, before you plant the seed. And then they look back at you at all the hard work you do and say, oh my, you did so much hard work. And you didn't see any growth, but you did in the spiritual realm because the sabotagers came and poisoned what could have been a success. So you take that and you learn from it and you move on to, uh, to the next project. You don't give up. You can never give up because the second you give up was the very second that it was going to empower you to move you forward. Okay. So, so. I empower you today to dare to dream higher than what your family believes you can dream. I dare you today to step out on something in silence. I dare you to do that. Don't display it on Facebook. Don't display it until it's completely done. And even then, only display what you need to share. When someone comes to you and asks you for your blueprint, teach me how you do what you do, you still hold back 99% of what it is you actually do to get to your level of success. You give them 1%. They won't even be able to take all of that because they're not there, because they are not the passion driver. They are not the uh, flight uh, pilot, the pilot that's flying the flight. They're the onlooker and they're looking at the beauty of everything surrounding what the pilot is showing them. Also, let your success 
Stay silent until you are ready to share certain aspects of it, okay? Uh, if you look at being, how, how did I word this? Hold on. Growth needs privacy, a place for peace and serenity to reside in order to grow. Look at the mistakes and the successes as the balance. Protect, not to hide, but to balance the scales of what we share and what we need to keep just for our personal success. Stay in the background. Keep that internal victory. You know, one of the greatest things that I've ever experienced was that hypersensitive emotion of overwhelmingness and celebration when something has been completed and no sabotagers were around to see anything happening. They were somewhere else devouring something that others were talking about in big board meetings and in big uh, community planning meetings. They were there. They were looking through grant opportunities, seeing the blueprint and the support and the help that is in, internal because someone needed that break. Someone needed that funding only to be sabotaged to say, I do apologize, but this cannot, we cannot cover this. Good luck on your journey only to find you go uh, on the other side of town in the same local community and you'll see your blueprint being created and, and uh, reused with another name, title, CEO, director, and they just happen to get the funds. But every step is success. Even when we think we're not succeeding, every step is moving towards the ultimate goal. So stay passionate, stay consistent, stay on time, dot your I's, cross your T's. Yes, you're going to make some mistakes. Yes, you're going to maybe be, you know, charged uh, uh, illegally for something that people say or do. But again, you can be credited for something or discredited for something. And when you turn around, that works in your favor. I've seen it happen hundreds of times. When we shine from gold, silver, the Maseratis, the Mercedes, when we shine from the area of I got this, I got that, all it does is draw people to hate you more. But it's a different shine when we shine from being upright, being committed to helping others, community oriented. When we are doing what we need to do and we help people and no one understands. You know, I was dealing with a contractor, multi million dollar contractor. And this person said, listen, let me tell you what I want you to know we do, and we're here for you. We service a life opportunity. You know, when we have our basic needs met, I can't even speak too much because if I do, you know, um, but anyway, we need basic life skills. We need the structure, foundation of our homes. We need roofs. We need, you know, certain things in order to live safe, you know, structural foundations. There are some great organizations in this community right here, right now, that I had a wonderful conversation with the CEO of a million dollar industry right here in my local community. And you know what they told me? They said, listen, we don't even tell this, but we provide seven families to 10 families a year free, you know, opportunity, whether it's housing, whether it's 
weather stripping, whether it's roofing, whether it's uh, anything that is basic need windows. They provide individuals and they never even let them know that they're doing it. They never let them know they're doing it. So say, for instance, if you do need a driveway paved and something is going on with the structure or your foundation and this nice company comes out and they just say, we're going to bless you with this. But they don't tell you until it's all over. You paid it. You have went and got financed. You've, you've, you've came in and you paid your first month on time. And then it's reversed back to you. Those are the people I deal with in my community that are under the radar, that are not as out there as some of the multi-million dollar companies that, you know, plaster it all over the, the world. No. They may still be a million dollar company and they're still doing good, but they can't let everybody know why. Because then now here comes the jealousy. Now here comes the envy. Here comes the hate. Here comes the I can do it better. Here comes the competition. So shine at your greatest and know that using your seed to plant success should never be planted in an area where others know you're about to break ground. That's why it's, there's a difference between the ground breaking and a ribbon cutting. I don't even believe in ribbon cuttings. I believe uh, in never cutting out anything of success. And to cut that ribbon means, yeah, it could mean that you're cutting to open. Or it could mean many other things. So be mindful subliminally of what it means to you. To me, it just doesn't mean success. So I don't do it. I want you to hold on to your belief in you, okay? There's going to be people coming at you. Now that we've opened this portal to think about this stuff, you're going to start to see it show up because it's always been there. It's always been there. That's the reason why you're hesitant because subliminally, you know, you have been experiencing it, but you just didn't understand what it was. Now you're a little more awake, you're a little more aware, so what are you going to do about it now? And this could be in any county, any city, any state, any country. It could be, in. I can be talking to someone right here near me or someone 100,000 miles away. That's the beauty of not being able to tap into the people in which I service. Because if I had told you, this is Baker Bakery Bakers, and they're located at da-da-da-da-da, and they're in Westchester, New York, guess what? Google will have an app so fast to get to that Baker Baker Bakers so fast that they would be sabotaging by tonight. (laughs) And that is the power of progress and walking silently. Not because you're hiding anything, because you don't have to hide anything. As long as you tell the major people who are who, and you do what you need to do, the who's who, then your circle stays pure. So be very mindful, be very aware, be consistent, be
Be ready, be on time, and be the best you you can be because you're rocking it. You're wearing them stilettos. You're wearing them Jordans. You're wearing those name brands. You're doing everything you need to do. You're wearing those Walmart specials. You're wearing those Salvation Army specials. Hey, whatever you rocking in, it's all good. It, Amazon, whatever you're rocking in, you're wearing them. You walk with some style and grace today and know that you are the best person that you can be in the shoes you're walking. So God bless you. We love you. We thank you. We hope that you are empowered by the wisdom that we're giving you based on Chronicles of a Nonprofit. These are the highs and lows that we've experienced. We've gone through it and we survived. So I just want you to know what wolves and sheep's clothing are out there waiting. Not to put fear in you, but to put that future empowerment into your walk so that you can be a success and have no reason not to because you know where all the traps are. How easy is it for a person to play a video game if they know where all the jewels are and they know where all the traps are? The game becomes much easier. <laughs> yeah, it becomes much easier because that's the way it actually should be. God bless you. Peace. And I'm out. This is Dr. Darina Shine, and you are now on the podcast pre-record of Dr. Darina Shine TV. You have a blessed day, and we'll see you next time.